Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Hello, how are you today, Miruna? Bien, gracias, usted. Really good, thank you. How was your day? Oh, okay. Fine, thank you. Great. Um, did you work on the platform? Yes, el, el, the, the weeks, last, ¿cómo es? the last week. Ah, okay, perfect. Nice. What about you, Gloria? How are you today? Hello? How are you today, Gloria? Ready for the class? Yes, teacher. I report a problem with the internet. Oh yeah, I imagine um, the internet is um, giving us some problems, maybe because of the rain, <laughs> uh, the weather, but the good thing is that you are here ready to start the class. Ah, okay. <laughs> what about you, Carla? How are you today? Fine, teacher. I work today. Yes, you work today. It's Monday. How was your day? Um, easy. Easy? Uh, yes. Busy? Busy. Busy. Ah, okay, I imagine. Because, uh, well, you work with a lot of people today. Yes. Contention uh, center. Okay, how many patients did you check today? 57. Okay, that's a good number. <laughs> wow. And did you work on the platform the weekend? I, I finished platform last week. Ah, yeah, you told me, I remember, that's nice. And, uh, what about you, Jaime? How are you today? So fine. And you? Pretty good, thank you. Did you go to work today? Today. Did you go to work today? Okay, I think uh, we're having problems with the connection, probably. How are you today, Abigail? Hmm, I am fine. Great. How are you doing with the platform? Last week, I finished. Oh, you finished last week. Excellent. Do you have any topic that you would like to review this week? Algún tema que le gustaría repasar esta semana, Abigail? Todo bien. De demostrativo. Que da is, does, it is. Okay, demonstratives. We're going to terminar los la plataforma. Uy, va a llover. Sí. Hola. 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 Ah. Hola. Escuchaba ahí un audio, pero no, no entendí muy bien. Sí, um, ¿Verdad que sí? Sí, todos lo escuchamos. Pero no era ninguno de ustedes que, que tenía preguntas. <risa> Teacher. Sí. Como ya estamos terminando el módulo y sé que si es específico, ¿por qué no hacemos una recapitulación de, lo, de todo lo que ha sido el, el módulo? Repaso, sí, Ahorita me dan un tema. A Abigail me dice que quisiera repasar los demos. ¿Tiene algún tema usted en específico que no le ha quedado muy claro? 
Este, yo estuve repasando el fin de semana, y de, 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 ya terminé de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Te volví a repasar desde los primeros temas, los primeros contenidos que vimos, voy por la mitad, y, en, y cuando estuve, este, digamos, en, la, en las evaluaciones de la plataforma, en, tuve dificultades en, en algunos... Eh, pero yo no sé si era porque yo no, no lo escribía bien, era más que todo donde había que escribir unos nombres específicos, donde había una historia de una familia, entonces no sé si ahí es que no eh, escribía bien el nombre o algo le hacía falta o es que realmente no entendí. No, con lo de los nombres está bien porque a veces es, es, es parte de la lectura comprensiva que a veces se nos complica. Vamos a hacer una lectura también. Ok, ¿alguien más que quisiera algún repaso en específico antes de que terminemos esta semana? Teacher, practicar la pronunciación, los diálogos. Ah, sí, 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 es verdad. Diálogos y pronunciación. Ok, ahora tenemos un diálogo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Speaking, asking about families. Ajá. Yo les acabo de mandar algo. Ah, ok. El diálogo de ahora. Ok, well, um, any other topic that you would like to review? I know that many of you have finished the platform. Some of you have downloaded the certificate, which is great. So we have time still to do something extra. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about family. Mm -hmm. Do you come from a big family, um, Gloria? Um, let me. Think. Oh, yes, I have. Uh, we are three. Uh, no, we are seven. Wow. Three. <laughs> three uh, sisters and four brothers. Yeah. Yes, it's a big family. Yes. What about you, uh, Iris? Do you come from a big family? No, my family is short. It's pequeña. Yeah. It's small, so you have a small family. Yes. Okay. How many are you in your family? Uh, my husband, my son, I, my mom, yes, I. Only four. Ah, yes. that's a small family. That's nice. <laughs> okay, what about the rest of you, Kenya? Do you come from a big family? Yes, miss. I have two sisters, one brother, my, my father and my mother. Ah, okay. It's yeah, a regular family. Uh -huh. Yes. And what about you, Oscar? Do you come from a big family? Well, from my father, I have 10 brothers. But wow. from my mother, I am, the, I am the one. Only child. You're an only child. For my mom, yes. Okay, so 11 in total. Yeah. Hello. Yes, it's a big family. Oh, yeah, from my father, yes. Okay, <laughs> nice. Um, and the rest of you, Felipe? Felipe, can you tell us about your family? We are uh, five people. Five? Okay. Mm -hmm. My father, my mother, my sister, and my wife, and I. Yeah, okay. It's a regular family. That's nice. Yes. Um, what about you, Emperatriz? Can you tell us about your family? Uh, hi, Miss <laughs> and classmate. <laughs> Good evening. Um, Good evening. Yes, um, I have 
uh, two brothers and one sister and my father and my mother. It's a regular family, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not big, but it's not a small, I think. It's uh -huh. an average. <laughs> it's yeah. average. Nice. What about you, Esther? Can you tell about your family? Esther? Sorry, we are uh, three. My mother, my brother, and I. Oh, it's a very small family. Yeah. Okay, that's good. What about you, Luis Fernando? Can you tell us about your family? Luis Fernando? Hello, Luis Fernando? Okay, um, I think he's not there. Uh, well, today we're going to be talking about uh, uh, starting with that conversation. So I'm going to play the audio so you can listen the pronunciation. After that, we're going to practice together. And finally, you will practice in groups. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you so you can um, see what the topic is about. There we have the conversation. I already sent this to your WhatsApp group asking about families. This is the topic for today. Listen. Page 31, exercise three, conversation. Asking about families. Part A, listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, that's the conversation. Do you have any questions? No. Mm, yes. Wildlife? Wildlife is yes, vida, vida salvaje. Yes, vida salvaje. Wildlife. Okay, so I'm going to play the conversation one more time and I'm going to pause it so you can repeat. Page 31, exercise three, conversation. Asking about families. A, listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, my sister well, works, my for, the sister government. works for, the for the government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, what does she do? What does she do? Does she do? Excellent. I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. I'm not sure she's working sure. on sure. she's working on a very secret right project now. right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. Wow. Uh, and what about your brother? Your brother. Oh, your brother. He's a wildlife, He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? One, an interesting what an family. Interesting wow. family. Interesting. Can, I meet them? Can I meet them? Okay. Uh, what an interesting family. 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 
Unión de WhatsApp. Interesting family. Interesting family. No lean la palabra porque si no la queremos pronunciar así como está. Es como in el número 3 y el team. Interesting. Interesting. Excellent. Now let's repeat. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Can I meet them? Excellent. Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. Sure, but not now. Not now. My sister's way. She's not working in the United States. And your brother? And your brother? And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Excellent. Lo vamos a hacer otra vez. Ya se familiarizaron. Espero que lo hagan un poquito más, más rápido. La entonación está bien, solo que necesito que, que lo hagan más así, más, más emocionante, más seguro. Si lo hacen bien, pero como que le da pena, no quieren así como que se oiga mucho, pero lo están haciendo muy bien. Solo esa palabra que siempre nos da problemas, pero ahora ya no me da interesting. interesting. Uh -huh. Interesting. Very good. Interesting. So, try to play it one more time and you can repeat. Uh, Page 31, exercise 3, conversation. Asking about families. Part A, listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, my sister well, works, for the government. Sister works for the government. Works for the government. She do. Oh, oh what, does what, does she do? what does she do? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. I'm not sure. I'm She's not sure. sure. She's, She's working, working on a very secret, secret project, 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 project now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Wow. And what about your brother? Wow. 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 And, and what about, about your brother? brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Can I meet them? Sure, but not now. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. Sure. sure. Oh, but, but not, not now. now. It's just no. away. She's not working in the United States this month. Working in the United States this month. And your brother? And your brother. And your brother. He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, good. Now let's practice the conversation in group. One of you can be Rita and the other can be Sue. And then you change roles and you keep on practicing for a couple of minutes. I'm going to create a section group so you can practice together. You have already the conversation in your WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, there you go. Remember to click join or unirse so you can practice with your classmates. Are 
look. Okay. I'm Rita. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working and very secret crying right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's wildlife photographer. What an exciting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but no now. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. The Amazon. Yes, okay. Amazon. The Amazon. Amazon. Y también tengo duda con vida salvaje. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Wildlife. Wildlife. Uh -huh. Wildlife. Wildlife. Yes. Ahora. Ahora conmigo. Karen. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Victor. Victor, lo voy a asignar a un grupo. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister got for the government Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wonderful photograph photographer. <laughs> photographer. Photographer. Uh -huh. Photographer. What, what yeah. an interesting family. Can I meet them? Sure, but not, but not now. My sister, I was she's not working in the United States. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, are you my con, con photographer? Photographer. Photographer. Sí, mm -hmm. así. Photographer. Sí, así. Exacto. Thank you. Thank you. Ahí está. Thank you. you got it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Seguimos con quién sigo? Con Carla. Sí. Ok, A ahora cambiamos. Yo soy. Okay, I heard some of you practicing. We are going to wait a couple of minutes. Uh, the rest of your classmates can finish their role plays. 
You did a very good job. It's just some in spelling word, but it's okay. Me salí antes yo, no. No, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, well, the topic and this conversation, it's the present continuous. I know that you have already studied this topic, you know, some, uh, you have some knowledge about present continuous. Um, do you remember the uses of the present continuous the structure? Teacher, antes de continuar, yo tenía una pequeña preguntita. Yes. Perdón, que no lo había hecho antes. Este, no, that's pero, okay. Eh, cuando nos referimos a hermanos, eh, existe una palabra también que sustituye esa palabra, hermanos. No decir brothers. O sea, cuando yo me refiero a hermanas y hermanos, no recuerdo o no sé si estoy equivocado. Is that siblings? Ah, okay. uh, children. Sí. They can be siblings. Um, siblings. Siblings. Uh -huh, siblings. Uh -huh. siblings. Se, se refiere a hermanas y hermanos, ¿verdad? Yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, porque este, el, nosotros eh, eh, decimos de una vez hermano. Si decimos hermanos, ahí como que eh, incluimos ambos género, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, brothers es solo para masculino y sister solo femenino. Uh -huh. Then you can say siblings. And uh, igual, si es una mamá, le preguntan, uh, um, do you have any children? Es ok. ¿Tienes niños? Es, es hijos en, en, como en español en general, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok. Um, well, let's check the video that we have in the platform about the present continuous. I am sure that you have already seen this material. But let's review in case that you haven't. I'm going to share the screen with you. Podrían apagar el micrófono que se oye la noticia al fondo. Sí, y no se escucha nada. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes she is. No she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in our discussion box. I am taking my English class. Yeah, 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 he's still in silencio. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking your English class right now. That's excellent. Another example. 
what are you doing right now? I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Mm -hmm. I am writing. I'm washing. I'm washing. I'm watching the, the news. Okay. I am watching the news. I am listening to news. Okay. Um, remember that it's very important to always use the verb to be as auxiliary in this structure. When I mean verb to be is am, is are, and then the main verb with ing form. And remember that there are also spelling rules to create or to form the ing. And present continuous, uh, well, in this case, we're going to use it just for uh, actions, ongoing Action. actions at the moment of a speaking, but it has other usages. El presente continuo también tiene otros usos. En la plataforma lo estamos viendo para hablar de acciones que están en progreso en ese momento. Hay otros usos del present continuous. Vamos a ver. Uh, esta presentación se las voy a mandar. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, As you can see, we have a question here. What's yes. she doing? She's reading. Can you repeat? She is reading a book. She's Sorry. reading a book. She's reading a book. Reading a book. Reading a book. Reading a book. What is she doing? What is she doing? She's doing. She is crying. She's crying. She's crying. What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? He's watching TV. He's watching TV. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's going to school. He's going to school. Going to school. School. Okay. And what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? I am practicing. We are studying my class. We are studying English grammar. We are studying English grammar. English grammar. Uh -huh. So in the previous examples, showed that we use this tense to denote an action happening at the time of a speaking. And to be more specific, we can use adverbs like, for example, now, right now, at the moment, in this moment. To, um, to denote that the action is happening when you are speaking in, the, in that moment. Yeah, right. Okay. What are they, are they wearing, wearing, today? wearing today? What are they wearing today? They are they wearing t-shirts wear and mini and wearing t-shirts and mini skirts. They are I love to see you. I love to see you. Are you busy? Are you busy? I'd love to see you. Are you busy? Unfortunately, I'm very busy. I'm painting my flat this week. I'm only a writer, but busy. I'm painting my flat this week. So, can you see here? It says this week. This week. Rather, rather. Are you having fun this summer? Having fun this summer. Are you having fun this summer? Not really. I'm working as a waiter. I need some money for college. Not no, really. I as a waiter. Need some money, money for the college. Need some money for the college. Okay, this is for the use number two. This example shows that the present continuous tense is also used to denote a temporary action mm. happening today or these days. Mm -hmm. 
también se usa para acciones temporales que están pasando en un periodo corto de tiempo, como esta semana. Ajá. Podemos decir, we are finishing, we are finishing our module this week. Estamos terminando nuestro módulo esta semana, ¿ya? Yeah? This one week. We are finishing this module this week. We are studying hard to pass the exam this week. Okay, or this summer, this winter, so short periods of time. What's wrong with our planet? Our planet. What's wrong with our planet? What's wrong? It's getting warmer. It's getting warmer. It's getting warmer. What's wrong with the air we breathe? What's wrong, What's wrong with the air with breathing? Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming more and more polluted. It's becoming more and more polluted. Ajá, es contaminado, contaminado. Okay, the use number three is also to express the ongoing changes, especially with verbs such as become, get, grow, and no. change. And with expression like more and more. Mm -hmm. Are you going to the party on Friday? Yes. <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. Only in the case that your ID numbers and in zero, one, and two. <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow. So the use number four is uh, we use it for future arrangement with the time reference. You see? También se usa para arreglos a futuro. Y tenemos que usar una referencia de tiempo. Like, for example, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I, am, I am shopping for groceries tomorrow. Because my ID number ends in two. So I'm going. <laughs> I'm shopping for groceries tomorrow. Okay. Um, I am resting. On Friday, okay. Estamos descansando el um, el viernes. So, lo podemos usar para arreglos a futuro, dando la referencia de tiempo, especificando que eso no está pasando ahorita, sino que es algo que estará sucediendo en tal fecha. Uh, por ejemplo, si usted tiene planeado o en sus planes está hacer el examen final el viernes, usted puede expresarlo usando el presente continuo. Es decir, I am We are going to have a uh -huh. test. I am having the final test on Friday. Mm. Tenemos hasta el 20 para inscribirnos, ¿verdad? Hasta el 17. 22. Ok, vamos a decir, I am, I am filling out the forms. I am filling out the forms. On May 20th. Estaré llenando los formularios el 20 de mayo. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Y le podríamos ocupar el will be. I will. Mm. Yes, sí, no, sí se puede. No. Está correcto Estamos utilizar el futuro, pero el will se utiliza para cuando usted está tomando una decisión en el momento, algo espontáneo. Oh. Okay. No es, eh, eh, como ve, acá dice, we use it for future arrangement. Es para algo que ya está arreglado, como algo planeado. Pero si es algo que yo decido es entonces futuro próximo. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ahorita eh, decido, uh, tengo sed, entonces yo digo, I will get some water. Iré, iré, oh, 
por algo de agua. I will get some water. Ahí sí uso will, porque fue algo que es espontáneo del momento. Eh, si de repente yo veo que Dani tiene mucha carga, viene con todos los comprados, entonces en el momento yo decido, le ayudaré. I will, I will help you. Uh -huh. Es más para cosas espontáneas, el will. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok. Uh, we use it with am, um, is, are, el presente continuo. Acuérdense, siempre, siempre necesitamos poner una forma del to be primero, am, um, is, are, dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? Si es I, vamos a usar am. Um. Tercera singular, o sea, he, she, it, is. vamos a usar is. We, you, they, vamos a usar are. Y luego el verbo principal con ing form. Por ejemplo, afirmative. I am sleeping. sleeping. He, she, or it is sleeping. You, we, they are sleeping. Now, for negative, si vamos a hacer una oración negativa, solo tenemos que agregar el not no. después del verbo to be. I am not, o oh, I'm not en forma contractada. I'm not singing. He, she, or it sería is. Is not singing or isn't singing si es contractado. We, you, they are not o aren't singing, ok? That is for negative. Ok. Yes. Uh, let's see. Interrogative. Cuando son yes, no questions. Vamos a empezar con el am, is o are. Am, is o are. Yes. Am I dreaming? Primero el am, is, are, después el sujeto. I, he, she, we, Carlos, María, etc. Y luego el verbo con ing. All right. Um, am I dreaming? Is he dreaming? Are you dreaming? Y también en la respuesta decía siempre va a llevar el verbo to be cuando respondan este tipo de preguntas. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, we are. Y negative, no, I am not. Recuérdense que siempre es no al principio, solo no. Y el segundo es con T al final, not. No, I am not. No, he is not. Or he isn't. Lo puede hacer contractado igual forma. Um, hay reglas de spelling que hay que recordar más que todo cuando estemos escribiendo. Okay. Uh, por ejemplo, uh, nosotros tenemos que tener uh, um, en cuenta como a todos o la mayoría de verbos solo se les pone ing sin cambios en spelling. Por ejemplo, el verbo watch solo se le agregó ing al final. Watching. Clean, cleaning, listen, listening. Pero hay excepciones. Aquí va la primera. Si el verbo termina en e, vamos a eliminar la e. Y vamos a escribir ing. Por ejemplo, live. El verbo live termina en e. Entonces la vamos a eliminar, la e, y vamos a agregar el ing. Live, living. Aquí pueden notar el cambio. Um, write. También termina en e. Se eliminan cuando terminan en e. Y ing. Writing. Ahora, uh, verbos con... Short vowels and one consonant, we double the consonant. Ok, cuando tenemos esta estructura de un verbo con short vowel, vocal corta son las que eh, suenan como con estrés. ¿Ya? La, por ejemplo, el verbo run. A, hacemos cierta fuerza para pronunciar la, 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 la vocal y es una fuerza y va corta. Run. Ok, y tenemos... 
la tenemos entre dos consonantes, consonante, vocal, consonante, y lleva estrés, run. Cuando esto sucede, duplicamos la última consonante. En el caso de run, la última consonante es n, la duplico y le agrego ing, running. I am running. Lo mismo sucede con swim. Swim, ¿verdad? Es vocal corta, lleva estrés y lo mismo patrón. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces duplicamos la última que es M. Swimming, doble M y ING. Ok. Si el verbo termina en L, double it, se dobla. Si termina en L, por ejemplo, travel, traveling, se duplicó la R. Cancel, termina en L, canceling, se duplica. Si terminan en IE, change to Y. Uh -huh. Lie, lying. Die, dying. Ok. Esos son los cambios que se hacen en spelling al momento de escribir. ¿Hay preguntas hasta acá? ¿No questions? Yes, I have a question, Miss. Um, in the third, I don't remember it was in the second or in the third step that you explained um, the sentence said, um, uh, let me see, we are, we are living tomorrow. I didn't understand that. Eh, nos estaremos yendo o, est o estaremos partiendo, partiremos mañana. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you, Miss. Ok. El verbo live es salir, partir. Any other question? No more questions? No. Okay, let's ask some yes no questions with this. Uh, remember that the yes no questions is um, the structure is remember first the verb be, then the subject. And then the main verb with ing. So what we're going to do is to look at the picture and make questions, just no questions using the verb given. For example, look at the picture and the verb that we have here is cook. Uh, I'm gonna ask Danny. Danny, yes, are you okay, Danny? Is he cooking? Is he cooking? No. He, no. He said. No, no, he isn't. He is getting up. Puede ser, getting él se up. está de, despertando, se está levantando. No, he isn't. He is getting up. Now, Danny, ask the question to another classmate. Hágale una pregunta a otro compañero basada en lo que ve en la pantalla ahorita. Ok. It is. Okay. They are playing. No, esa es oración. They are. Acuérdense okay. que tienen que poner primero el to be. Oh. Are they? Are they? Are they? Uh -huh. Okay, otra vez. Please. Are they playing? Are they dancing? No, no, they, they are, are no. They, they are dancing. They are dancing. Dancing, excellent, Iris. Okay, Iris, ask the question to another classmate. Uh, Adonai. He. Is he running? 
Okay, no, he, he is singing. He is singer. He is singing. Singing. He is 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 singing. Okay, Adonai. Ahora asiste la pregunta a otro compañero. No, I didn't. I did it. I did it. Mm, I love Okay. Are they watching TV? Yes, they are. Ah, yes, are they TV. watching TV? Yes, they are watching TV. Very okay. good, Carla. Ask another classmate. Okay, um, Jaime? Yes. Uh, if she listen to music? Listening? Is she, uh -huh. is she listening to music? Yes, she is listening to music. Very good, Jaime. No, usted no contesta, pero yo creo que ya está estudiando. Igual que yo, por eso no le marqué ahorita. Danny, do you have any question, Danny? Oh, no. No, teacher. Okay, uh, Jaime, ask the question to another classmate. Okay, Carla, Karen. Karen? She's not playing soccer. Espere, espere. Si le ha hecho, ya le ha respondido. It's very interesting. <laughs> Karen? Yes. He's, he's yes. in playing soccer. No, she is playing soccer. No, she isn't playing soccer. Oh, so. no, she isn't playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay, Karen, question. Is, uh, is. Ah, uh, she or they? They. Aha, uh -huh, entonces, bird be first, bird be first. Are they shopping? Entonces, ¿sí? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, Karen, hágale la pregunta a otro compañero o compañera. Okay. Oh. Um, Are. Es que se cortó la, 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 la clase. Oh, okay. A quién, Karen? Um, Gloria, Gloria, esta es Gloria. Okay. Hola. Uh, ¿Cómo pregunto? Are they shopping? Oh. Are they shopping? Yes, they are shopping. Okay, excellent. Now, Gloria. Uh, um, Kenya. Okay. Okay, let me see. Are they cooking? Yes, they are cooking. Good. Now is your turn. Question. Okay. To Iris. Are they walking? Uh, no, they're not. They running? They are running. Excellent. They are running. Okay. Are running. Very good. Now, uh, to form WH questions, para hacer las WH questions, básicamente es la misma estructura, solo que se pone primero. La WH word, dependiendo de qué queremos preguntar. Ok. What, where, who, and etc. So, unfortunately, time is over. Um, so, we're going to continue with this tomorrow. Mañana vamos a practicar WH information questions with present continuous. Ok. Vamos a dejar este pedacito para mañana. 
Uh, thank you okay. for joining today's session. Remember, acuérdense de llenar los papeles para la inscripción y de tener al día la plataforma. Yes. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. 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 See you tomorrow.